Hey guys, these days sugar is everywhere, from birthday parties to class treats, even to your own breakfast table. So if you're looking for ways to cut back, today we are talking about five tips to reduce sugar in your kid's diet. All right guys, before we dive into the tips, I wanted to set some basic guidelines and goals. The first of which is we are talking today about added or processed sugar, so not the kind naturally occurring in things like fruits. All right, in terms of quantities, for a four to six year old, you wanna stick to under 20 grams a day on average, and for a seven to 10 year old, under 25 grams. So the other thing you wanna think about is an average serving size, that should be under eight grams of sugar. All right, so now that we've got the basics covered, let's get into our tips. Number one, talk to your kids about sugar. It's easier to make changes if your kids are programmed to understand why it's important, and it takes them a while to develop an understanding, so start now. In our family, we talk a lot about healthy foods and growing foods and why that's important for making you stronger and smarter, and I've done this since the kids were little. And then when it comes to sugar, we keep things pretty general. My kids do understand that too much sugar can make them not feel good now, and it can make them sick later in life. So we don't get too specific, but the contrast between healthy growing foods Food and unhealthy sugary food is there. Finally, as your kids get older, you can teach them to read nutrition labels. When you open this up, this is where it is. And sugar content is a great place to start. So what are we looking for? Eight grams of sugar. Number two, watch out for hidden culprits. To name a few, beverages, yogurt, and cereal. When it comes to drinks, the only thing your kids should be gulping on the regular are milk and water. Why? Because juice has about 24 grams of sugar on average in a glass. That's as much as a glass of soda, you guys, and you don't want that, so limit the sugary drinks to special occasions. I do let my kids have juice at birthday parties because I never wanted it to become a thing and I didn't want them to feel left out, but they usually have to choose between juice and birthday cake. Also, you guys know I make a ton of smoothies. I never use juice as the base for those. I usually use unsweetened almond milk, which is a great substitution. Now, when it comes to yogurt, fat is not the enemy, sugar is. You can try a Greek yogurt, which has a high protein content. That will keep your kids fuller longer. Also, try the plain varieties and mix your own fresh fruit in. And then I love this Icelandic yogurt because it has so many options that are under eight grams of sugar. Finally, breakfast can be a hidden sugar bomb. Cereal and granola are often packed with processed sugar, so you might wanna try sticking to things like overnight oats and eggs. Mm. One thing I found is that if my kids start their day with sugar, they will crave it throughout the day. Number three, schedule dessert. About a year ago, I realized my kids had gotten into the habit of having dessert every single night and it just was not a good situation. So we introduced an every other night rule and it went surprisingly well. You can also try alternating dessert night with TV night, but no matter what, you wanna communicate with your kids because if they know what to expect, it always goes better. And while we're talking about dessert, you may wanna try some lower sugar options like nice cream and banana boats. How is that? Right. Mm -hmm. Number four, going hapsies. A lot of moms use this trick for juice and lemonade when they water them down, but you can use the same principle for things like yogurt and oatmeal, cereal, really anything that has an unsweetened variety, and you'll be surprised how quickly your kids' taste buds adjust. Number five, treat detox. All right guys, this one is a little bit more unusual, but it comes from personal experience and has worked so well for us that I wanted to share with you. Um, a couple years ago, we went on vacation. The kids had mocktails on the beach. Cocktails and mocktails. And it's part of town. They had make your own Sunday bars. And when they came home, they were accustomed to all that sugar and were craving it and kept asking for it. So I decided to experiment with going cold turkey. Um, we decided that we would try to stick to under five grams of sugar per day for an entire week. We called it our Treat Detox Week. Sorry, Ryder, it's Treat Detox Week. Thanks, try, buddy. The kids were surprisingly into this. I think the name helped as well as the limited time frame. but let me tell you, this was such a great reset. Now Treat Detox is in our lives three to four times a year, usually after a vacation or a holiday. I hope you guys give this and all the tips a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.